So I'm talking picture profiles and video settings for DJI's folding drone, the Mavic Pro, in today's episode of When Will I Learn? So right now I'm sat in the roof space, like the attic space of Islington Mill. And up here there's kind of like two levels, the top floor and the attic space. And they are in a state of disrepair. The roof needs fixing and it's getting done at the moment, something's happening, but it's not done yet. So someone asked me to take up the drone and just have a look at what the roof looks like from above. So I did that, and I'm gonna show you some of that footage because there's a couple of things that I've been asked and there's a couple of things I'm just learning for myself that this footage demonstrates. Because kind of summer time's coming and sunrise is a lot earlier and sunset's a lot later, I've not always got the dedication to be up and about at like four o'clock in the morning to get that perfect light. So I've gone and bought some ND filters. Instead of buying sets of three, I've gone and bought ones individually just to test them out and see if they work with the gimbal, see how good the quality of the actual optics are. Today I'm looking at that. The other thing I'm looking at is just the, the settings that I use. So for recording video, there's loads of options and loads of ways to set up the Mavic. Whether you want to just drag footage straight off it and use it without colour grading it, or you really want to deep dive into you know, DaVinci Resolve and use some D-Log profiles and stuff like that. You can do the whole spectrum of things. What I've done today is just use my preferred settings. And so that's what I'm going to show you now. So I've had a couple of people ask what settings I'm using for the video on the Mavic. So I'm just going to go into that now. Shooting in manual, which I always do is pretty crucial unless I'm just messing around. Shut up. I don't care you're in atty mode. Video size, 4K, 24 frames a second. Video format is uh, MOV. I've got it in PAL. It did not really make much difference. The, the thing is, if you change it, if you change it, it opens up two new, uh, so 25 frames per second and 30 frames per second in 4K, which doesn't really mean much to me. White balance, I had set to cloudy because I was out and it was a little bit cloudy. It was probably more sunny than cloudy, but it looked it looked good in, in, uh, in cloudy. For the style, now this is the more important bit and some of this really needs changing because I'm not that happy with it. But at the moment, I've got it in minus one, minus two, and minus one. So that's contrast is minus two, um, saturation is minus one, and sharpness is minus one. But I'm going to change that now to plus one because if you look in the footage, the Mavic applies some noise reduction in the shadows, and so you get these really muddy looking shadows and then I've got it on art at the moment I kind of flip between art, d-log and cine like art I find I can almost use it straight from the camera so the footage that I showed on my Instagram that was straight from um, that was straight from the Mavic with no post production on it the other thing to note is at the moment I have like an ND6 on here so today it was pretty bright so what you're aiming for if you can see here is I've got ISO as low as possible the shutter is 1 50th of the second that is that is good you want it to be double the frames per second really and obviously 24 there's no option for 48 so that's what you've got really 50 is 50 is good that is what I was flying with today that sharpness thing is something to note, especially when you're shooting high contrast scenes. The ND filter is a pretty good tip if you're going to be shooting in sort of daylight. What I tend to do is try and shoot really early in the morning or really late on, and that's been great over the kind of winter period into spring. But as you start to move into summer, that means you're going to have to be waking up at half three or staying out till midnight which isn't practical uh, or 
always and if you're working for you know if you're doing any work that is for clients so you shouldn't be doing that unless you have your PFCO which is your permission for commercial operation um, yeah if you're working with clients then you're gonna run into some serious difficulties because they're not gonna want to get up at half three to come out and show you what he's doing. So those are the settings I've been using on the Mavic. I find them to output some really really good images now. I've gone through quite a lot of iterations. I've used loads of different settings on other people's advice. At this moment in time they're the settings I'm happiest with. Now this doesn't mean they're the best and I, I reiterate this time and time again. This channel is about me learning and you guys kind of following along. I think that is really important because it shows you how you can fail. So I'm going to show you some of the footage that I've got with these settings. Uh, as I said, some of it is with the sharpness dialed down, which gives this muddy quality to the shadows on high contrast images because of the Mavic's sort of inbuilt noise reduction. With the sharpness down, it's trying to bring it, it's it's trying to bring down the sharpness in in those shadows as well. And because of that it's applying this noise reduction. I don't use a lot of noise reduction at all. I find that, you know, if I, if I look back to the early weddings that I was shooting, I was using a lot of noise reduction. And that, now that I look back on it, it makes me cringe because I see so much sharpness lost. It's, and it also made me feel like I was comfortable at shooting at much higher ISOs. ISOs, whatever you want to call it, which kept me away from getting better results basically. So noise reduction, I found a problem, you might not find it a problem, and as I say, it's only on the really contrasty stuff because you're exposing for those highlights and those shadows. That's, that's, where, the, uh, that's where the issue comes in. Yeah, check it out. So that was the footage of the mill, the roof. I threw in some footage of Manchester, which I did because I was out at ridiculously early o'clock, uh, so wasn't congested, wasn't any people there, there was kind of one security guard, and um, I just thought it looked really good. The, the, light was, the light was awesome, it was already really, really bright, uh, so the ND, ND filter really helped. If this video is for you, hit that like button, if you want to see more, subscribe, leave any comments down below, negative or positive, I'll respond and see you in the next video.